Kathy's sister Donna was on her way over, but before she came, I had a chance to talk to Kathy about her relationship. She raised me. My mom had passed away when I was 13. So she is really, in essence, she's, she's like my mother. When it comes to the kids, I know that she, I think, would feel that I'm taking them away from her if I get a sitter to come in. I'll tell you, like, my husband and I, we've actually talked about moving out of state, and I can't. I just can't bring myself and the girls, you know, away. <laughs> They're my family. So as much as you love your sister and she... It's a love-hate very... relationship, <laughs> put it that way. Your life. A couple times, I've heard them call my sister mommy. What are you going to do? You know, they don't have anybody else. It is very obvious that there's been some very deep-rooted issues in their relationship, and sometimes it makes Kathy really emotional. I have no idea where my sister is. Oh, here she is. Hi, I'm Donna. Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. Hi, sweetie. I met Donna, I said hello to her, and Donna was pleasant. She may have said hello, but she didn't look pleased to see me there, that's for sure. You can have one cookie. She already has two cookies. You want one? Donna had not been in that house for 30 seconds before they started bickering. Let me have it. <laughs> Take a cookie. cookie Take a cookie and be Don't done. come out here and just push me out of the way. And then we had Donna shouting at Kathy and Kathy putting her foot down and saying Caitlin couldn't have a cookie. Just give her one cookie. No, we have a cookie. And then we had two women ranting and raving at one another and a child screaming because she couldn't get another cookie. Kevin, give her one more cookie. That's it. That's it, Caitlin. One cookie. I'm just going to put your away. Take then one she and that's carry. it. Mum should have stuck to her guns, but it wasn't happening. In the end, Mum gave in. Don't baby her. Screw you. On that note, Bye. I'll see you later. See you when you get back. Right, you can next what year. are these two ladies Not thinking? Messages. They fight with one another and they're just giving total wrong messages to the children. I don't get a hello. Can I get a hello? Can I come in and relax for a second? When it was time for Donna to leave, the girls got really emotional, even though they see her every day. <laughs> right, give me a kissy. That's it. Don't cry. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Right, 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 goodbye. Yeah. goodbye. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> well, Nani's leaving. <laughs> it's hard to break away from them. I have to know what they're doing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have no fear, Harvo is here. Have no fear, Joey's here. Oh, how are you? Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, how are you Joey. Doing? Very well, thank Cheers, you. Buddy. Yourself? When I first saw Joe, I figured now's the time for me to get out in the open. I could show Joe uh, what really goes on around here behind the scenes. I get jealous that sometimes you'll see the kids, they'll call Donna mom, and they'll call Uncle Jerry dad. And sometimes they call me Uncle Jerry. And I'm like, how do you not know I'm your father? Steve came clean. I mean, he put his cards on the table. Between uh, mine and Donna and Catherine, you know, one coddles, one doesn't give in, and one babies. You know, and it, um, I have a real tough time with that. Now, apparently, there's no discipline in the house. Because I hear mom says, wait till your father gets home. Well, because she likes to, she wants me to be the disciplinary one. I don't want to be the bad person. I don't want to first come home after 13 hours and start yelling at my kids. I want to spend a little time with them before I start yelling. Let me enjoy them first, and then I'll yell if I have to. After my conversation with Steve, it was very apparent that these three adults are not on the same page when it comes to raising the girls. 